Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or the connection. As always, it's meant to be general reading. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, leave the rest. All right, so let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Messages, please. For Sagittarius, when it comes to love, what does Sagittarius need to know for love? All right, let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius. Okay, so what's been going on in your connection? Six of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So I feel like this is a connection where you're both on the same page or you both feel the same about each other. Um, maybe this is a connection where, well, I'll have to clarify and see, but um, I'm hoping that this is a connection where you're both getting um, what you put in. Hold on, my... Hopefully you could see better. Yeah. So we, hopefully that's the case. Um, and it's not one of those situations where someone's kind of left doing most of the work or the effort. We'll see. What do we need to know about this? Any challenges or insight? The Empress Reverse and Ace of Pentacles. Interesting. I feel like this. Okay. So I'm starting to think that there might be an imbalance here. Sagittarius between you and this person. Because I feel like with Empress Reverse... There's potential for growth. There's potential for something abundant, but it's not happening or it's delayed. Despite the fact that there's an offer here or an opportunity here for this to happen. So how do you feel about this person? 10 of Pentacles reverse, seven of wands reverse. And how do they feel about you? The chariot, cancer energy, and the eight of wands. So movement. I don't know. I, with the seven of wands reverse, I'm getting almost like you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to struggle anymore. You don't want to have to be guarded and worried. And um, I feel like what you've been doing so far in this connection, I don't think you want to do it anymore. Um, I think you really want a long-term commitment with this person, but with the Ten of Pentacles reverse, I'm not sure what's going on here because this is usually a card about uh, a lack of stability, a broken commitment or a broken, or a situation where maybe finances are not good. There's instability rather than stability. Um, so I don't know if this is a long-term connection that you've been in with this person where it hasn't been very stable and I feel like maybe you're getting tired or if you are tired of fighting for commitment and not getting it. We'll see. Where is all of this headed? Okay, we have the Page of Cups, the Moon Reverse. So some sort of reveal here, Pisces Energy with the Moon Reverse. Feelings revealed, some sort of secret coming to the surface, someone, um, some sort of illusion being seen clearly. Any hidden factors? What do we need to know about this? Ten of Wands, Reverse, Two of Swords. Interesting. I feel like someone is undecided about what to do regarding this reveal it's almost like someone's trying to decide if they should hold on or let go we'll see what that's all about so why is all of this happening what's the root of the situation why is everything happening four of swords reverse at the bottom of the deck so restlessness um someone waking up someone taking action maybe there was a lot of thinking being done and now someone's ready to get up and do something about it let's see spirit can you give us some clarity please for sagittarius not a lot of major arcanas on the board so I don't know, when I see um, that there's not a lot of major arcanas on the board, I feel like there's a lot in flux. There's a lot that could change. There's a lot that could be developing. Um, things are kind of in progress. That's kind of how I interpret that. So 
Also, I don't really see a lot on the board in terms of action other than the chariot and the eight of wands, which is this is your person's energy. So maybe they're making some sort of move here, but I think they're the only ones. So we'll see. Let's start with this four of swords reverse. Why is the four of swords reverse? Page of pentacles. Yeah, someone I feel is tr like trying, to, wh whatever they were thinking about, it's like they're ready to make an offer now or ready to get something started. Why is the four of swords reverse? Two of swords. Okay, well, and there's the two of swords again. Well, which is it? Are you going to make an offer or not? Because I feel like this is very back and forth energy. Can I get one more for the two of, uh, not the two, the four of swords reverse? Why is the four of swords reverse? The tower. Jesus. Okay. And Sagittarius, you know, if you've been watching my readings recently, uh, you keep getting this message of a tower. There's the moon at the bottom of the deck. Secrets, illusions. Yeah, I feel like this is all connected. Um, there's going to be some sort of reveal here. Something shocking, something unexpected. Um, but I feel like when this tower happens, it's like someone doesn't know what to do about it. Someone's not sure how to react. Can I get one more for the Four of Swords reverse? I'm almost getting like someone didn't want to wake up, but they were woken up by this tower. Or someone didn't want to take action, but they were being forced to take action because of this tower. Can I get one more, please, for the Four of Swords reverse? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about like an offer here, an opportunity. Um, bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Wands. So this has probably been a long time coming or there's been a lot of difficulty to get here. This is very interesting to me because I feel like it's this tower is disrupting rather than, I don't know, I really hope that it's helping. Tell me about this tower rather than disrupting, right? But tell me about this tower. What do we need to know about this tower? What do we need to know? Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. So I feel like this is this might be like an emotional reveal, a reveal or something unexpected regarding love, regarding feelings. Uh, it might affect someone emotionally. Tell me about the tower. Can I get one more for the tower? Six of Wands. Okay, so this, this will be something that helps things along. Um, there's doubts with the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, probably worries about the outcome. But I think in the end, this tower will help someone. I say someone because this is the 411 on your connection. So you're both here, Sagittarius, you and your person. So feel free to flip the energies or um, take into account that there's someone else's energies here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. What's this about? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Four of Wands. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Eight of Wands. Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy, and then the Four of Swords. So the minute I put down the Four of Wands, I thought stability, but then I thought someone's home. something's happening at home but with the eight of wands which by the way I have the eight of wands here in your person's side I'm getting there's movement or action or communication here something being made right with justice something being balanced right I get one more about the six of Pentacles this is what's going on in your connection at this time why is the six of Pentacles here Okay, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. And that's been happening a lot in these readings. I, <laughs> I've been clarifying this, the card with the, the same card. So I feel like there's there's not, I, I'm, I'm starting to think there's not really a lot of stability in this connection at this time. I feel like there could be, but I don't think there is. I think, yeah, there needs to be communication here. There needs to be something 
that's talked about or discussed, um, maybe an apology or something like that, which is strange because these two cards normally I would think this is great. And when I first saw them, I thought this was great, especially with the four of wands here. But then I have the Empress reverse and this is kind of like the hidden factors, the challenges, the insight on what's happening. So I think there's something here that's not quite as it seems, or there's difficulties here. Tell me about this Empress Reverse. This Empress could also be a very um, pissed off person, petty person. We'll see, controlling person. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. What's the Empress Reverse doing here? Death, Scorpio energy. What's the Empress Reverse doing here? So something, instead of I feel something starting, it's like ending or not going anywhere, I feel. Five of Pentacles, yeah. So either this Empress Reverse is an actual person that's causing things to not progress, or this Empress Reverse is just something that just cannot grow, cannot manifest because of the difficulties here, Five of Pentacles and the Death card. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. So this could be part of like the secrets, the mystery, what's hidden. So why the Ace of Pentacles? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here then? Oh, three, really? Okay, clarify by the Ace of Pentacles. Again, I'm telling you, I've been clarifying the cards with the same cards. Six of Cups and Five of Cups. Okay, so I feel like this is an offer being made out of regret or out of um, out of disappointment or this offer or something just didn't end up working, you know? I feel like someone ended up disappointed maybe this offer is coming in as a like constellation you know almost like you know i need to bring something to sagittarius or vice versa because uh otherwise things could go bad for me what's at the bottom of the deck eight of pentacles four of pentacles so i feel like this is somebody that I really feel like this is almost like a band-aid. Like I need to, or if this is not a band-aid, this was something that happened in the past where, where again with the Six of Cups, the Two of Cups, some, a very special connection that had a lot of potential. Maybe there was an offer or a promise made of commitment, but I feel like it ended up being disappointing. Someone could have been holding back a special truth or something that was important or holding back their true feelings or something like that. Okay, let's jump into your energies. Tell me more about Sagittarius and their person spirit. What do we need to know about Sagittarius and their person? Tell me about Sagittarius energies. The energies that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. What do we need to know? Secret admirer. Intrigue, watchful attraction, you've caught someone's eye. Tell me about the person. Burning passion. Okay, tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. I'm starting to think some of you had like a secret romance. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. Burdened heart. Yeah, this is that Ten of Wands. I'm starting to think that some of you are had some sort of secret romance or a secret love or a secret attraction or perhaps you were the secret. Married souls at the bottom of the deck though. Um, so I feel like this person is kind of burdened by the connection uh, despite the fact that it's a good connection. It's almost like it's it, maybe this connection was not meant to happen. Knight of Cups. So what's going on with this Ten of Pentacles reverse? What's going on with this Ten of Pentacles reverse? What's going on with this Ten of Pentacles reverse? Ten of Wands again. <laughs> okay. So this has become a burden for you, a, a weight, a heavy weight. That's why I feel like you're kind of giving up. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Seven of Wands reverse? The Moon, yeah. 
I feel like you're tired of being in the dark or not being sure of something or illusions or secrets. Um, maybe you need more clarity and you're not getting it. Maybe this has become, uh, maybe it started off as something great and now it's become a burden. Something that just weighs heavy on your heart. Um, something that's more problems than, than you know, happiness. You could be dealing with the Pisces. I have Scorpio on the board. I have Cancer on the board. A lot of water, actually. Queen of Cups. Page of Cups. I also have some Earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies. But once again, even in the clarifying cards, not a lot of major arcanas. Only two so far. So I feel like there's a lot of things that are not... Because major arcanas are usually major shifts in energy right they tend to be situations where or energies where things are bound to happen or expect you can expect those things to actually take place because they're major shifts um i hope that makes sense so what's going on down here with the chariot and the eight of wands what's this about with the chariot and the eight of wands what's this about The Wheel of Fortune, which I've seen the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck a few times. Why is the Chariot and the Eight of Wands here, Spirit? King of Cups. The High Priestess at the bottom of the deck again. I feel like this person has kept something to themselves. You're both kind of in the same boat here. You're both burdened by this connection. It could be for different reasons, could be for the same reason. I don't really think it matters. I think you're both burdened way down by this connection. The Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, Eight of Wands, this is movement forward. This is events that propel something forward. It could be that this person is coming over to talk to you as well or visiting you to talk. Tell me more about the Chariot with the Eight of Wands. But I feel like this person is going to reveal something to you. Tell me about the Chariot and the Eight of Wands. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. There you are. Yeah, I feel like this is going to happen in a certain timing here with Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. And again, the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. You know that there's something you don't know. <laughs> that was so eloquently put. But you know what I mean, right, Sagittarius? I feel like you have, you know that there's no clarity here, that you should know something, but you don't know it. Sorry, I can't, I can't seem to say that in a better way. Um, but I feel like down here, Wheel of Fortune Temperance, it's like something's been slowly coming together. Time, patience, moderation. I feel like something is very slowly happening here. And it has to do with someone that maybe they have like a secret or need to reveal something. Um, and I feel like that's what this Page of Cups and the Moon Reverse is like all about. I feel like someone's dropping this burden and I feel like it could be your person tell me about the ten of wands reverse why is it okay that's way too many but I'm gonna take it the lovers Gemini energy ace of swords yep and then the eight of cups so I feel like this is someone that's uh, once again ace of swords and the ten of wands either they're cutting out a burden or they're opening up let, like I, when, whenever I see the Ten of Wands reverse within a card about communication, I literally think of someone that's unburdening themselves, you know, um, telling you something important or telling you something, confessing something, and it kind of is relieving or they get relief out of expressing themselves. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a soulmate, with the Lovers, Two of Cups, Six of Cups. When it, When those cards kind of come out together, I start thinking of the lovers more about a union. You know, if you've been in my channel for a while, you know that the lovers is really a card about a choice. What your heart is telling you and what your mind is telling you and a com being conflicted. And this person has been conflicted. Don't, you know, I do see the two of swords there. But I feel like this person no longer is going to be controlled by this indecision, if that makes sense. Now, this ten, um, eight of cups is very interesting to me because... If this person's walking away from something or they're talking to you about walking away from something, then I feel like that's what probably this chariot and eight of wands is about. 
Tell me about the Two of Swords. Yeah, the King of Swords. So this person debated on telling you this, on coming clean. That's what I heard, coming clean. So tell me about the Page of Cups and the Moon Reverse. This could be kind of surprising, you know, when I have the Moon Reverse and the Tower here, um, I'm thinking of like a shocking revelation, which by the way, I'm pretty sure I did a reading for you Sagittarius with something like that in the title. So check out your playlist. If this resonated for you tell me about the page of cups and the moon reverse the Sun clarity yep there's gonna be serious clarity here with this conversation with this apology it could even be a confession tell me about the moon reverse with the page of cups the hermit Virgo energy interesting <laughs> I almost am picturing someone that's literally um, telling you a, a secret they've kept to themselves with the Hermit Virgo energy here. Because the Hermit is a card about withdrawing and being alone. And you're thinking of your next steps, doing soul searching, seeking answers, uh, listening to your intuition, your inner voice. So I'm almost picturing someone that after they've done this are going to come and like confess after they've, you know, realized something or uh, listen to their intuition. Can I get one more for the Page of Cups and the Moon Reverse? The Star, Aquarius Energy, Healing, Faith, Renewal. I really feel like this is someone that's apologizing or confessing something with the hope of, I don't know, I just, and, and by the way, the Hermit is seeking the Star. That's where they have the Star and the Lantern. So I feel like they found their answer and they want to tell you about it. Honestly, what I feel with this hermit is that someone was hiding something or keeping something to themselves and carrying it with them. And now I feel like they're unburdening themselves. And I think you were kind of expecting this or at least you, you suspected that there was something else here or something that you didn't know Sagittarius. And there could be, you know, it could very well be that there ends up being an offer extended here um after all of this because i feel like the four of swords reverse is similar to the moon reverse like someone is opening up and with the tower and the queen of cups with the two of swords i'm almost getting like this energy here like someone expressing their feelings in a shocking or unexpected way or revealing a secret you know i feel like that's really the energy here some sort of unexpected confession or someone confessing their true feelings towards you so that's what i have for you uh if this resonated for you sagittarius let me know down in the comments hit that like button subscribe so you can see more readings from me thank you so much for all of your support for continuing to watch the videos i really appreciate it and i will see you all in another video very soon take care